welcome back to part two of our show and i want these guys to do something for me right since they're so good at playing music i want to dare them i want you guys to play madashi roots <laughs> current music scene yeah mm-hmm. um, um i choose to look at it like this like this i feel like there's more opportunities that are emerging for people mm-hmm. and that's why we can have akina you know, ojumbo family making money from music mm-hmm. yeah we can talk about the content but um at least now we we get in this feeling like our music scene there's that opportunity for growth there's quality in the production that are coming forth mm-hmm. yes so i I look at it from that perspective. Um, on the on the aspect of of the content, um, I don't know. An artist is just a mirror of society. What these people seeing are things that happen mm-hmm. in our society, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, we, we can't. It's up to us to address these issues. Yeah, mm-hmm. if we if we don't want this kind of content out, we have to address these issues at the society. Mm-hmm. But we we can't really blame someone for making. Uh, for making money for his family yeah. if i released a song that worked i mean i'm going to do it again again, again yes and there are people to consume it so mm-hmm. yes so what kind of music do you listen to uh i can say every one of us has his own different oh, you kind of have different yeah music. yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah then there is what we listen to yeah so mimi i really love to listen to rumba music yeah so yeah actually when anipatia ile sense ya kusikia roots ya africa ndani yake yeah sana sana alafu pia it has a lot of percussions Yeah so I tend to listen to them the those different styles of percussion yeah na pia uni bamba too yeah now for me I listen to a lot of uh, rock hip hop uh, a lot of african music mm-hmm. south african majorly mm-hmm. and um reggae yeah definitely yeah, reggae you look it it looks it um i i listen to a lot of black music you know uh, I listen to jazz a lot i love afrobeat mm-hmm. as well yes i i listen to to kenyan music as well i listen from around africa 
yes mostly yes uh, for me me, me me i'm a lover of uh, conscious poetry yeah i listen to poetry a lot um i listen to reggae music and african music from rumba to to zilizopendwa yani mimi ni mse yani wow manze wahenga wahenga was <laughs> yeah so that's 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 my type of music but generally me we gonna skiza mziki yote yani juu unajua with it restrict yourself from a specific genre if you want to learn especially as an artist you need to listen to different genres to get to learn a lot na kusikia pia vibe ya watu wengine ina ina soundaji yeah So um is this the young is the young um Bobby connection out there is that young boy out there who is to be like you what can you tell them huh uh believe in yourself unajua like sisi venye tume come kufika hapa kwenye tumefika ime ime take a lot unajua from mental breakdown to spirituality pia lazima uji ground kwa sana because there's so much going on outside here especially in the art scene you really need to ground yourself spiritually mentally and if possible physically yeah you data you could get easy na we kujeka tu kwa hiyo vibe it's really really important art inalipa sijui kwa nini wase wana wanasema about when art ilipi art inalipa na itakuja the right time the right time the thing you can do at the moment is just work on your craft work on your craft each and every single day na kila kitu ita work out yeah man yeah man the right person will come yes nani ajibu hiyo nani atajibu hiyo ah okay of course unajua unajua basket imebeba sahani na vikombe eh hazikosagi kugwaruzana one two mm-hmm. but waga tuna tuna tumetosha kwa hiyo kikapu ya mziki na kwa hiyo kikapu ya love love ngila vanga mm-hmm. na hiyo ndio inatuunganisha unajua na hiyo ndio inafanya hata tunaweza kusukuma hii sanaa yetu yeah na kukosana ni ile it happens yeah yeah juna just like i'm saying manzi are heavily invested spiritually emotionally na time wise you know so sometimes we got to ground each other na kwa eh we ni aje una need to do hii na hii na hii na hii alafu you accept eh hiyo ndio policy pia tuna tunaishiki nayo yani ile kukuwa honest with each other ndio pia tunahitaji ku grow musically pia na pia ku grow each other in terms character yeah because apart from just anything else apart from the talent we also need character yeah so yeah so i think we are about to wrap it up but right before where can we get you guys um say if i have a wedding i wanna tie you to my nah. show or i wanna okay. call you for my events yeah social media yeah so we, we are definitely on social media mm-hmm. on instagram mbogi underscore connection with a k mm-hmm. on um twitter Bogi underscore connection still with a K and on Facebook Lavingi Lavanga is up is Lavingi underscore Lavanga. We have a couple of projects that we are doing. We also have a concert coming up in two weeks, yeah, on the 22nd. It's called Yetu. Yetu is a uh, is art driven by deeper relationships and selfless love. It's about spreading love with the people. We have a vision of sharing love, connection and interactions. So we'll be having a lot of African foods, uh, music and just vibing. We just want to vibe. And um all this information is uh, on our social media and uh, it's about celebrating our fans and the people that have been with us through this journey because we realize that our art is not ours anymore. <laughs> yeah, the dream started when it was individually ours, but now it belongs to the people and that is what we want to share with them on the 22nd. It's called Yetu. Yeah. So 22nd which will be around my birthday. So mkuje yeah. mm. It's also my birthday month. So, so oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a plan. Oh, it's yeah. a plan. Yes, yes. So see you on 22nd. So Oh. Yes. Yeah. Instagram 
uh, Twitter Mbogi underscore connection with a K. On Facebook, Lavingi Lavanga is the page. Yeah, Lavingi Lavanga is love that is, love that continues. Yeah. So tukifunga show, watupatia mziki moja moto. One fire one. Wait first, I have been your host. <laughs> These guys are confusing me. I have been your host, Nina Gekunda. Don't, don't forget to join us on Saturday at 7 p.m. Tamani, hizi sura ni rangi na itamani. 